Let's take a closer look at an advanced feature that works in both the Conversations tab in a Teams channel, as well as within a chat conversation. That is Messaging Extensions. Messaging extensions allow you to post content from popular apps to your conversation stream. You can find your messaging extensions here below the new text messaging box in the ellipses. To get started, we're simply going to click on the ellipses or three dots. Now, here you will see a list of suggested apps as well as a link to get more apps. But first we're gonna start at the very top. Here you'll see at the top of the menu, Praise. If you click on Praise, you will see that you can select a badge to send to someone as Praise. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Awesome Unicorn. And here you will see that you can start typing the name of a student or a colleague in your team. Note that you can add a personalized comment. You can then click the purple preview button and you can see what your praise is going to look like. Remember that praise is not private, so when you post it to the team, everyone will see your praise. Let's go ahead and click send to send praise to the student. Again, if we switch into student view, we can see that praise that I, as a teacher, sent to the student. All right, let's go back to the teacher view of Teams. And again, let's go to our messaging extensions. Now, let's go to more apps and explore what types of apps we can incorporate in our Teams channel conversations tab or in Teams chat. Notice we have a wide variety of apps from Poly, which allows us to create simple polls for our students or colleagues. Quizlet, Wikipedia search to search for Wikipedia articles, as well as even YouTube. Let's add a few of these messaging extensions. Let's start with Wikipedia search. I'll click on the tile and click on add. Notice that I now see a Wikipedia search icon, the signature W, underneath the text messaging box. When I click on that W, I have a Wikipedia search menu. I can search for a keyword or phrase, and browse for a related article. When I find an article I wish to use, I just simply click on it and it gets added inside a messaging post to the conversations tab. Notice that this hasn't been posted to the team yet, so I can go ahead and customize this post by adding a comment. I could always at mention a specific individual or the entire team. Notice that I can also add emojis, animated GIFs or GIFs, or even stickers to enhance this post. And when I'm ready to post to the team, I simply come down here to the bottom right and click on the paper airplane icon to send that to the conversation stream. All right, let's go back to messaging extensions and go to more apps. I mentioned that at the very bottom of our apps menu, we also have YouTube. Let's click on it and add it to our team. Again, we see the YouTube symbol below the text messaging box, and we are now able to search for YouTube videos. All right, so I have previewed this particular video, so I will go ahead and select it. And again, it will be added to a new message post but it won't be posted right away. I can always go ahead and customize this post. And when I'm ready, I can either click enter on my keyboard or click the paper airplane icon to send this to the conversation stream. One more I wish to show you is Polly. So we're gonna go down to messaging extensions, 
click on more apps and right here at the top of the uh, apps available for messaging is Polly. If I click on it, notice that I can choose to add to a team or add to chat. We want to add it to a team and it allows me to select the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and set up Polly in the uh, general channel. It adds a new tab where we can see uh, results of our polls. But if we go back to conversations and we select Polly, notice that I can now create a multiple choice, a rating one to five question, an agree or disagree question, or even an open ended polling question. Let's go ahead and create an open-ended question. We can go ahead and create poll and send that to the conversation stream of the team. And now if I flip back into student view, I can see a polling question created with Polly. I have a space where I can enter my response and even submit my response. Keep in mind that even students can view the responses for the polls that are created with Polly. Thanks to messaging extensions, I can include rich content from a wide variety of apps in the conversations tab of a channel of a team. As well, I can use these same apps I've installed to enhance my messages in my team's chat conversations.